Edition XS is one of the latest Hyphen headphones, and I absolutely can't believe they decided to do a few things with them, which I'll discuss in this video. Edition XS is an open back planar magnetic headphone, and you can get it for around $500. Many say it's one of the best headphones in this price category. But is it actually? Let's start with the most obvious and controversial part, their build. They share the typical higher-end Hyphen egg-shaped style ear caps. I'm a huge fan of the way they look, they're so unique and just pretty to my eyes. The ear caps themselves are pretty large to accommodate any size or shape of ears without touching them or being squished by the pads, as that for me always leads to an uncomfortable and unenjoyable experience. They're also pretty deep, so it's unlikely that you're going to touch the drivers. The headband is my main concern and I'm clueless why Hafman decided to go for this kind of style. Fine, it makes the ear caps swivel a little bit for increased comfort, but then the top piece is totally solid, it doesn't utilize the suspension strap, which was present on the older, even cheaper lower-end Hyphen headphones, including the previous version of the Edition XS, which was 2015's Edition X. I would say that it's a huge downgrade in terms of comfort, as that solid headband creates a hotspot on top of my head. After a few hours, it gets a bit uncomfortable. Although the Edition XS weighs just over 400 grams, which is pretty light, especially for the size, they don't have sufficient clamp force at all, which makes the entire weight of the headphones lay on top of your head, not being properly distributed around the ears. Moreover, the adjustment provided by the headband is likely to be insufficient as well. It doesn't get small enough for many heads, which leads to the weird feeling of the earcups being too low on the jaw, or perhaps not even fitting entirely on the jaw. Each and every one of these issues could have been solved easily by implementing their suspension strap instead of the solid headband. Either way, let's get to the most important part, their sound quality. Do you need a beefy dedicated amp to drive them? No. They're going to be just fine being plugged to a dongle or some cheap lower end amp. Not to say they won't scale up and sound better with a better source, I'm just saying that they're just fine with something cheaper with not a lot of juice. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about the actual sound characteristics. First, let's start with a frequency graph made by headphones.com. Starting from the low frequencies, there's a really low extension to the bass, which goes all the way down to 20 Hz, perhaps even lower under the audible range. There is a slight slope down, going from around 100 Hz, but while actually listening to the headphones, it has little to no effect on the sound. The bass generally doesn't hit the hardest, but it's clean and free of distorting, or any other kinds of unwanted mess. The lower mids are boosted to an extent, which makes the headphones sound a little bit warmer, which is compensated by the quite large boost in the high frequencies. The frequency graph you're looking at hasn't been smooth to the same degree as the dotted Harman target curve, that's why you can see some weird looking dips, don't worry about them. The highs are clean and energetic, but sometimes I feel like they need some work, even though it's the Stealth Magnets edition, which on the other headphones used to improve the harshness and the sibilance of the highs, it's still not perfect. In some songs, they sound plasticky and sibilant. Generally, the sound is pretty much V-shaped, with an emphasis on the high frequencies, which in return leads to a feeling of a lot of detail. Let's get to the soundstage and positioning. It's fantastic, especially for the price. The soundstage is really wide and the positioning is pretty unique. Let me explain. Everything seems to be a bit further from you than I feel it should be. There is no direct proximity while listening. You may like that, you may not. Usually the vocals sound like they're coming from the back of your head. The high frequencies seem to come slightly from the top of my head. It's not a bad thing per se, just a characteristic of that headphone. The image separation is amazing. You can clearly hear all the different layers of music and it doesn't get overwhelmed by a lot of sounds at the same time, which is common for lower end headphones. Unfortunately, Edition's XS aren't the most natural sounding headphones in the world, but it doesn't bother me at all. They sound natural enough and most importantly, really fun. Now, is that headphone worth it? The sound signature it offers at a price point of $500 is truly exceptional and rarely found elsewhere. Hafeman has done an outstanding job overall, with only a few minor shortcomings that I personally don't mind considering the excellent value it provides. 